What's up YouTube and welcome back to Homebrew Subaru. In this episode I'm going to start buttoning up the engine so I can get it back into the WRX. So what's up everyone? I have been brainstorming over this thing the last couple of weeks. I sat the turbo exhaust manifold onto the block and just the way it's kind of sitting the up pipe and the turbo location, I just don't see how I'm going to make it work unless I start cutting pipe and modifying it. And then I had the idea, why would I buy another up pipe to modify it and take this good down pipe and modify it when I already had modified stuff. I was actually thinking the oil pan was needed because of the turbo manifold, but it's more or less needed because of the subframe, if I remember correctly now. So I'm, I have the idea of using my old uh, NA header with the custom up pipe that I made and the custom down pipe I made. So it'll all just literally bolt together and I won't have to change anything or buy anything else. And then everything will be in the car so that if I really wanted to convert back to a turbo header or dual over a cam engine later, which probably won't happen, um, I'll always have that option. But today, uh, I've got a bunch of small items and I think I'm going to probably get the timing together too. So I've just got a couple things to button up on the bottom. Um, I've got the oil cooler hoses and a new oil cooler pipe. Uh, there's your part numbers if you're interested. Some new stainless clamps, a new uh, lower hose to connect the water pump to the heater pipe. I cleaned up the old thermostat housing from the WRX engine. Got a new thermostat, so I'm going to start with this stuff and uh, we'll just whip right into a time lapse and get it together. And I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you, baby up with a slow motion crew, and we up in the growlings when people change, but not us, and we just chilling. Could be so to the skin in the mouth I know she got the good vibes when seasons change, but we're the same. Even if I lost all my money, the zero runs deep on it. And I don't need to speak a single word, cause you got me holding, holding. Even if my jokes are funny, my tongue tied up on it. And I don't need to speak a single word. So I've got everything buttoned up, uh, got all these new little cooling hoses, stainless clamps everywhere, water hose, the thermostat and housing, and then I went ahead and just gave everything a quick blast, a clear coat, just to try and keep down some of the corrosion off everything. Uh, gave the oil pan a nice spray. Uh, I've got all my timing stuff pretty much ready to go, so I cleaned up the timing covers. just. They were actually pretty clean from the last time that I did this engine, but I just wanted to make sure there's no grease or oil on anything. And got the bolts all cleaned up. The tensioner is reset and ready to use. This belt doesn't really have very much mileage on it at all, so it's being reused. So I'm just going to set up for another time lapse and get all this stuff together.
like a bass guitar Simmer down and mess me up Tripping like I'm Jimmy at Woodstock And they are Drumming round and going and forward Shivers down my spine to say I'm glad that I have at least the long block back together. I'm ready to go on to the intake manifold probably next. It doesn't need a lot of work but just a basic cleanup. Um, I am going to keep it the classic green that I've been using for probably 10 years now. Um, there's a hard line for the evap underneath that I want to eliminate. Uh, this connector for the cam position sensor has some open wiring, so I'm going to grab a new connector or another connector I have on another harness and just go over everything, make sure everything else looks decent enough and clean it up and I'll be able to bolt that on. And I still have the clutch to go on after that. I also want to get into the engine bay and just clean up some of the spots, clean up the grease and dirt that's in there. Uh, make sure there's nothing in there that doesn't need to be in there. So I am getting a little closer. I just need to be able to get the car to drive in and out so I can work on other things. want to do something to the 240 before the summer comes and it being April already, we've got to get a move on things. So if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Leave your questions and comments further down below and I'll see you in the next one.